Get a little hot in that rhino. I mean sailboat. <laughs> oh, happy freaking Thursday. It's a little toasty out here today in Oregon. But I'm better now. So what's the plan for the day? Well, first off, after I change, I'm gonna put together the dirt bike. Finally have the dirt bike project finished. And then I say we take that bad boy second off for a ride. Go find some awesome place in the area and take some pictures of it for Craigslist. So if anyone wants a dirt bike, throw it on Craigslist today. I'm starting to get really anxious about getting back on the road. I gotta sell the dirt bike first. Oh, the dogs are going crazy. Ah, let me get out of the water. Hey puppy. These are my pants. Hi. I think people think I'm crazy here at the marina. I haven't mentioned it in a vlog yet, but the other thing keeping me from starting this 50 state road trip is that starting next Tuesday, I have to do training for the Air Force. From August 2nd until August 10th, I have my annual training. Once I'm done with the training, and once I sell the dirt bike, then I'm pretty much Well, there she is, ladies and gentlemen, in all her rattle can glory. She turned out all right. Better than before, at least. And that's all that I really was going for. I definitely like that little front fender. Gives it a little bit more aggressive look. I'd ride that sucker around. And right now, sounds like a good time to. However, my helmet has been in storage in the boat for like six months. And I have a feeling that it's gonna be covered in mildew. Helmet, helmet, where are you? Where the heck is my helmet? Oh, it's way under there. Oh, and more wasps. Holy crap. Dang. Freaking everywhere. Oh my gosh. Oh. This thing is just full of mildew. I believe this pops out, all this cushion inside here. Oh crap, no it doesn't, and I just ripped it. Some of it's gotta. <laughs> that part didn't. Anyways, I think I'm gonna wash all this out before I actually wear it. However, my buddy Peter did just get me that yellow helmet, and I do have some big circular women's glasses that I found. Better than nothing. Where's the light? Where's the light? Where the heck is the light? There's a the light. 
Well, the bike ran great. Oh my gosh. Unfortunately, the GoPro crapped out about halfway through, so I lost some footage. But overall, it was a great old time. <laughs> Luckily, the helmet wasn't put to the test. I definitely miss riding dirt bikes and motorcycles. That was fun. Ooh, this thing is a little tight though. <laughs> My buddy Peter, who sent it to me, he messaged me afterwards and he said, Yeah, hey, uh, Jake, it looks a little tight there, guy. At first, I didn't think it was, but it's a little tight. Holy crap. What the heck? That must be from my gloves. <laughs> my hand is so black. Wow. All right, cool. So tomorrow's Friday. When you guys watch this, it'll be Friday. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm kind of in a pickle on what I want to do for the weekend. I can either A, take the bike out, go for a little camping excursion, or B, Richard and Verona invited me to go up to Washington, Ocean Shores, and hang out with them for the weekend. There's gonna be a bunch of stuff going on. So, option A or option B. I am in a pickle! I don't know if anyone is wondering. I feel like if maybe I was watching, I'd probably wonder. But if I wasn't vlogging, I probably would have been able to knock out the dirt bike in one day. And with the Jeep maintenance, probably a little bit faster too. However, the vlog is my life right now, and it's what I do, so it's worth it to me. But I, I think it's funny looking back, seeing that it takes me three days to knock out stuff that would normally take one day. Just uh, a lot of people have been asking how long it takes me to edit and things like that. And I've actually cut it down a lot lately. I'm starting to get into a good rhythm. It used to take me around five to six hours and now I'm around three to four. So that saves me a couple extra hours. Big thing though is I need to sleep less again. I was sleeping in about five, six hours and now I'm more like seven, eight. I need to go back to five, six so that I have an extra two hours of the day. Anyways, rant over. Tomorrow's a new day. We'll see what the heck happens. But before I end this vlog, I got two words for two special people. Christian Soronen and Kevin Bui. Bui, you're special. I cannot do this without you guys. That's the honest truth. And I hope you guys know how appreciative I am. You guys are awesome. All you Wranglers out there, I hope you enjoy the freaking weekend. Be safe, have fun, drink beer, get weird. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bui.